do another do it yourself and we're finishing off the nzxt h400 i am working on it again because it has 54 degrees celsius in the graphics unit i'm not sure why uh it's the second uh gpu is at 34 the cpu is at 36 which is strange so i'm gonna see uh what's going on there's probably something stuck in the block i hope you like this aerial not an aerial view but it, just me moving the camera around hope you don't get dizzy easily but this is the build uh h400 nzxt with excess pc parts sent by frozen cpu An excess PC. See, I have the single light on. I'm gonna update it to where all the locks will have a light. I don't have any RGB in this unit. As you can see, the PS2 ports in the back is an in indication of how old the parts are for this system. The parts are really old, but they do their job. This is for encoding. I had two one terabyte drives, which I found out were not real one terabyte drives there was a thing when these were sent there was this whole thing uh in the news they were sending uh terabyte drives or they were selling terabyte drives when in fact they were only 500 gig drives so i got two 500 gig drives there but uh i have a ssd in the front samsung evo 870 here i'm removing I was draining and removing parts. That's what it looks like, the water block. I had a different angle of view, but it when I bumped the camera, it moved it out of frame, so I didn't use that footage. So what you have here is the well, side view. It doesn't really show uh, me removing the block, but here the block had a little creature that moved. I think it was part of a slug. I, I don't have that... Uh, photo I, I have a still shot photo of it i don't have the uh the video of it moving it's basically a, a little slug that went in the water or probably grew in the water it was an egg that got stuck and then it made its way into the gpu channel i don't know how it survived 54 degrees celsius which was it was reporting Anyway, uh, that was weird. So I reapplied the thermal place, which is an ML, uh, MXL, MX4, uh, cer ceramic, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a thermal paste that doesn't require curing, like the other uh, thermal paste that I used to buy, the Ar Arctic Silver. And you can see I have a back plate for the GTX uh, 690. This was a card that was given by the community. The community who has a fascination with the number 69. And at the time, this card was a thousand dollar card to buy. It's the, uh, I think the last manufactured dual core card that uh, XSPC ever made. Good reason because these things run really hot. which is why you'll see people water cooling it. So this water block was made by Razer, XSPC Razer. It sold out pretty quick. They used to use these cards for mining rigs uh, a long time ago. It was the first thing, but uh, it's now a, it's got 
3072 CUDA cores, but it's an old, older generation card that uh, by today's standards uh, won't, won't play the latest and greatest games at high settings. Might play it at low, but... For encoding and things like that, it will probably do well. It, uh, it did a bunch of my streams uh, in the earlier days, or in the days I did stream, and it was, it was pretty good. It uh, offloaded the, uh, a GPU of my main computer, and it's pretty nice. So sorry, I, this, uh, this little montage is not like a B-roll kind of version of an elegant water cooling refill. I don't have any water uh, dye or anything like that. When I first water cooled with the, the main system, I used the XSPC OPEC white, which they discontinued because it left residue in the block. And I think that's why my thing uh, overheated back then. Pretty good. I, I don't have the light uh, hooked up. I did route the cable so that it, all the uh, power is in its own channel so that it doesn't draw too much power from the, It's only a 650 watt power supply. Most of that is needed for the graphics card. Anyway, I hope you like this episode. If you want more videos like this, hit the like button and also so that you don't miss any future videos, hit the subscribe button and, I'll, and ding that bell and I'll see you in three days. This is John Azadam signing out. Take care, stay safe, remember you're essential.